Hey, what's going on YouTube? Free code campers, Chromebookers, etc., etc. Uh, for all the Chromebook people, well, I have like six subscribers. <laughs> but anyway, if you happen to watch this and you use a Chromebook, I have totally woken up and smelled the coffee when it comes to Cloud9 for uh, online web development. If you haven't, if you're on a Chromebook and you are trying to get into web development or you do a little web development or whatever, <gasps> excuse me, and you don't know about Cloud9, you totally got to check it out. It gives you access to, uh, this is what it kind of looks like. This is my project I'm working on now. You've got like millions of files you can have over here, terminal right here, and then your editor is right here and you multiple tabs in your editor, uh, multiple terminals. And there's even, there's like a JavaScript, uh, where is it? Oh, no, it's a terminal. Whoops. Uh, there's like a JavaScript, da, 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 immediate window it's called. It's like a JavaScript uh, console basically. Um, and you can run, You, I mean, you can do, if you program just about any language you program in, they're going to have it here. Uh, it gives you access to Node. You get a free workspace with Node. Like you look up here and for free, you don't get, you only get two gigabytes and 512 uh, RAM or whatever, you can't make it any bigger on the free version. But so far, it's been enough to run and hold all my stuff. Like I, I, I've got a, I've got my portfolio running right now. This is what I want to show off. I haven't finished it yet, but uh, I came up with this blackjack game using um, this deck of cards API. Uh, it's, it's super cool. Um, I'll put a link into it in the uh in the description or whatever but you go through all this stuff and it, like it can deal you out cards and it will re it'll remember the deck and you can have like multiple decks if you can make any card game you want with this um granted you need to know how to make some api calls and stuff like that but it's really really cool and you get so you get um i'll show you what you get i made a blackjack game so you come into the site and it's going to have the blackjack game already preloaded for you. And then I'm, I'm using uh, some cool little nifty tricks to get it to do that. And you hit that and then you've got your dealer. You've got your hand and you've got a score. And you've got the dealer, what he's saying, and you kind of got like a status. It's just like messages, feedback. So, okay, dealer's got 15. I've got 14. Uh, better take a hit. Boom. Oh, I busted. So, boom, it knows. Dealer says you overreacted. That's a stupid joke about react. And then you bust it and you lose. Play again. One nothing. That guy. One nothing dealer. Okay, eighteen. Uh, he's got he's got to follow the rules of blackjack. So he's got to hit. Uh, if he's got seventeen or uh, above, he has to stay. And if he's got sixteen or lower, he has to hit. So I'm gonna hold, hoping he busts. He busts. One one. So player has 18. Yep, I've got 18. Player wins. Play again. It always says howdy partner, new game. New game. Oh, 20. I'm going to hold. Boom, I win. Show cards. 14. Oh, I hate this. 14s. He's got 13. He can bust pretty easy. I'm going to hold. Yeah. That's how you play. That's how you play against the house. Uh, one more hand, 16. Uh, he's got 11, so chances are he's going to get 21. I have to hit. Ooh, I got 19. I hold. He gets 19. He wins. Uh, yeah, so this is part of my portfolio. Like, I figured out um, some cool stuff. with This is all in React with uh, React Bootstrap. So once I got off CodePad and got into here, it gave me access to all the uh, – all the different NPM packages. And for example, like just to show you, um, okay, let me show you this. This is a welcome page. Welcome to my portfolio. This is just a stupid picture of me in a tree um, that I'm gonna replace with a video later. But look at the layout now. And 
Okay, that's the welcome component. So we'll add hello YouTube. Wait like that. It's two. And then I'm just gonna save it and watch down on the bottom in the terminal. It's gonna automatically do a bunch of stuff. It just compiled it and now it's running it on this local server, which isn't really local because I'm on, on the internet, so on cloud nine. But boom, it updated my page just like that for me. So it's really it's this really cool um save. So it's these really cool tools that you get. Um that I didn't think I could use because I had a Chromebook. I said, oh, seeing that's gone. Then I said, oh my God, I have a Chromebook. All I can do is use CodePen. I don't, I mean, I can get all the stuff that they use. Like you can beam stuff into CodePen with the CDNs and whatnot. And they, you can pretty much access a lot of stuff like that, but you don't really end up learning how to really use this stuff. It's just kind of there and it just does its thing. And I mean, you can get a good start, but you don't really know how to build like, like a pro developer would be building stuff like in their own environment here, like bringing in all the uh, different node package, uh, node packages, the package JSON. Um, if you, if you're developing with NPM and stuff like that. And I think, I don't know, for me, this is just like the easiest thing to do. Like the most, I already knew JavaScript. So it's like, well, okay. NPM and even like a little node isn't like that big of a leap because it's all JavaScript. So I hope to, what I hope to do is uh, hook this up, hook this up to, um, hook this up to Node somehow so I can use a, a database with my forms. I've got a little form there um, on one of these pages. Yeah, I've got a little contact form. I'm hoping uh, I can, I've been learning Node in um, this Mongo or MLab, MongoDB, Mongo databases. Hopefully I can hook this form up like that somehow and then figure out how to publish this page when it's done because I don't even know how to do that either. But yeah, this is this is what I'm showing off. It's a um, game of blackjack. And let's see. It's another code for that. I got pretty crazy. So like I ended up with... Ended up with this fun component. And it has, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, almost 20 different pieces of state. That's pretty crazy. Um, and then a bunch of different bunch of different methods. This is pretty tricky to program. This is a good challenge for me. I uh, Let me see here. Yeah, I had to do all kinds of funky stuff in here keeping track of a lot of different things at the same time and uh, even use a little recursion. Yeah. Handle player hold. I call it from within handle player hold. So that, that had to do with dealing with like when it switch, when it shifts from the, the, the player to the computer, I had to, somehow control the computers hitting and follow the rules of blackjack. And I'm not going to get into the details or anything like that. Cause I, I probably won't even be able to explain it, but basically the way uh, react set state, you have to, I ended up learning about, I could do callback functions instead of trying to like set state and then execute a function. You set it up with a, with a comma and use a callback function. And then you don't have these weird problems with like your, you're just trying to set state and then react to that new state and do something right away. You can't just set state and then call something. You have to use a callback, but I could, I could explain that in another video. I'm probably not the best person to explain that, but anyhow, definitely if you're, if you're on a Chromebook, definitely check out cloud nine. Cloud nine is awesome. It gives you access to way cooler stuff and you totally feel like you're a pro. You've got all these different windows flying around like that. Um, Maybe CodePen will, will bring a terminal into their project setup. I think that's probably the next step for them. And when they do that, um, that'll be interesting to see what, what, what we can do over there. But for now, see you later.